Your Garmin watch won't lock onto GPS, keeps rebooting when you start an activity, or crashes the moment it tries to find a signal. It's a common issue, but one that has clear, proven solutions. In this video, I'll show you how to fix GPS problems on your Garmin watch, whether it's slow satellite connection, boot loops, or complete GPS failure. These steps work across most Garmin models, including the Forerunner, Fenix, Epix, Instinct, and Venue series. Your Garmin watch uses a satellite file that helps it quickly find GPS signals. If this file is outdated or not syncing properly, your watch can take a long time to lock onto GPS or crash when trying. To fix this, open the Garmin Connect app on your phone or Garmin Express on your computer. From there, sync your watch. This will update the satellite data automatically. Make sure the sync finishes completely. In most cases, a simple sync like this is enough to replace the broken file and fix the GPS issues. If syncing alone doesn't work, the next thing to try is a soft reboot. Press and hold the light or power button on your Garmin watch for about 20 to 30 seconds until the screen goes off. Then, turn the watch back on. Once it's on, sync it again using the Garmin Connect app or Garmin Express. This often solves GPS lock problems without erasing anything on your watch. Your watch has different GPS modes, and switching to the most accurate one can help. Go into the settings on your Garmin watch, find the GPS or satellite option, and choose the setting called All Satellites Plus Multiband, or whatever option offers the highest accuracy for your model. This setting helps your watch connect to satellites faster and improves tracking performance. Another method that can help is to give the watch some time to find the satellites before starting your workout. Start a GPS activity on your watch, but don't press the start right away. Instead, place the watch outside in an open area with a clear view of the sky. Leave it there for 10 to 15 minutes. This helps your watch get a strong and stable satellite connection before you begin your activity. If your watch keeps restarting every time you try to use GPS, you can avoid the crash by starting a non-GPS activity like treadmill or indoor biking. This allows you to still use your watch without triggering the crash while you work on fixing the GPS issue using the other steps. If nothing else works, you can try a hard reboot. Press and hold the light button for about 30 seconds until the watch powers off completely. Turn it back on and try syncing again. If the problem continues, you may need to reset the watch to its factory settings. On most models, this is done by holding the back and start buttons and then briefly pressing the light button until you hear a beep or see the reset screen. This will erase your settings, so only do it if other steps don't work. After resetting, pair your watch again and complete a fresh sync. For watches stuck in a crash loop, one advanced option is to connect the watch to your computer using a USB cable. While the watch is in a pre-boot state, Go into the Garmin folder and look for another folder called Remote SW. Inside that folder, delete a file named cpe.bin or gpe.bin if it's there. After deleting it, unplug the watch, restart it, and sync it again. This can remove the broken GPS data and allow the watch to start working properly again. That's it for this video on how to fix GPS issues on your Garmin watch. I hope this step-by-step -step guide helped you get your watch back to working the way it should. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe for more simple and useful tech fixes. Have any questions or did one of these steps work for you? Let me know in the comments below. I'd love to hear how it went. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.